So when we're going full tilt, we'll haul one of these 20 trap trawls and set it back in about 12 minutes. I'm not, go I'm not going at full speed. <laughs> I've never been on a lobster boat before, so I'm incredibly excited. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Karen, it's nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks for having me today. Thank you. Awesome. We don't have a bathroom on here, so we had to bring, <laughs> made this special bucket for you. Well, I love this. These are my colors, so I think, I think I'll be all set. All right, good. <laughs> I'm really excited to haul traps. I'm really excited to ban lobsters. Um, and I'm just excited to learn more about the industry. What do you guys think? Looks good? Huh? All right, show me what to do. So I would grab it with my left. Oh. Just take two fingers and go around it. I think that the process, doing the same thing over and over again with precision, I, I think really compares to, to working in a kitchen and what we, what we do in restaurants. Beautiful, and wow. I can tell this lobster has been caught before because if you look at that right there, there's a V-notch in it. Gotcha. So that means somebody caught this lobster with eggs on it, they put a notch in it and threw it back, so we'll just keep throwing it back. I think the most surprising thing to me is how many lobsters get thrown back. I think it's really cool how many regulations there are, right, to keep the population of lobster thriving in Maine. The fact that they're only keeping 10% of what they catch, you know, on any haul, that to me was really, really shocking. I think I would have to get a little faster first. I don't seem quite as fast as these these guys, but I think with practice, I would really, I would really get there. Do you think that I could, I could lobster? I could be a lobster woman. I think you could manage. Do you think you would give me a job? Maybe an intern. Give me maybe an internship. I was really inspired being out with you on your boat today, um, and I was coming up with new recipes that I could that I could make with Maine lobster. Um, so one of them is uh, lobster exo dumplings with a chili vinaigrette, and the other is just grilling the lobster tails with a Thai basil gremolata. Um, the only problem is I need a little bit of help. So will you be my sous chef today. Great, I've awesome. got my knife ready. Yes, <laughs> fantastic. Cheers. Cheers. This for me, uh, the main lobster, really is the star of the show. Um, and I just want to, I want to brighten it, I want to accent it um, with some Asian influence. Have you made dumplings before? I've tried making dumplings. <laughs> Never successful, no. <laughs> you're going to be a dumpling ninja by the end of this. Well, at the rate you're going, it looks like you have to be fast work in the kitchen. You do. Well, it looked at the rate you were going today, it looks like you have to be fast to, to be in a lobster boat. You know what they say, time is money. What happens if your finger gets stuck inside? <laughs> I'm actually I'm gonna make this one more, and then uh, you're you're on it. Oh, okay. You've got the rest on your own. I didn't leave you on your own. I'm gonna add a little bit more Thai basil to it, and then I just want to get outside and get grilling. All I, ever wanted, good to me. all I ever want to do in the summer it's is, hot is grill. So we're gonna um, we're gonna grill our claws, but we're gonna grill these tails, and then we're going to we're gonna grill some limes, put that Thai basil gremolata all over it. We're good to go. All right, cool. sounds pretty simple. This all looks so good, Karen. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. I, I've never seen lobster mixed with basil and lime. I've, <laughs> I haven't seen cilantro on grilled corn. It's just, <laughs> just amazing. It smells great. Awesome. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. It was really a really special day. Thank you. To Maine Lobster. To Maine. Got you some grunding so that you can take those white pants back to Chicago. Is there any technique to the gaffing or is it just uh, make sure you turn the hook the right way? We're just gonna go like a little light quick fry and I'm gonna style fry. Amazing. Tastes like candy.